Well, this is the ultimate time to spring clean, not just our homes, but also our diets and our kitchens to help support a healthier lifestyle. Especially after winter filled with heavier foods, <laughs> take out, and of course, being indoors. Right now, we are joined by lifestyle expert, Kareen Heidenreich. Thank you so much for joining us. Karina, how are you this morning? Great. Happy Easter almost. Happy Easter almost. Let's talk, start with the cleanse, because I know they can be pretty expensive, and a lot of people go into the spring cleanse. Do you have some tips to help us get through this? Absolutely. You do not need to spend money on a spring cleanse. One of the easiest tips is to reduce your meat. You don't have to become vegan to make a difference to your health. Just commit to a few meatless meals per week or doesn't need a meatless day of the week. It's a major health boost. And when it comes to our diet choices, the biggest contribution to our carbon footprint is meat. Mm. I love this idea of replacing mm -hmm. meat with like vegetables and, and that just helps balance everything out. What are good spring vegetable choices? Absolutely, it's time to fall in love with your local produce. So right now in season, cherries, apricots, avocado, kiwi, mango, oranges, strawberries, asparagus, arugula, spinach, mm. there's so many choices. Get out to the farmer's market. The weather in most parts of the country is getting nicer. Mm. So it's an easy way to just touch and feel and pick out your favorite. That's so cool. What about spring cleaning the kitchens? Absolutely. So commit to reducing kitchen waste. Reus reusable containers like glass, for all your leftovers, pack silverware instead of disposable plasticware in your lunch. And make sure you limit those paper plates, napkins, other mm. single-use items, and use things like reusable Ziplocs. The seasons are going to change. We have to freshen up at the same time. <laughs> uh, do you have one, <laughs> one tip that you would walk away that we can share with our kids about changing their diet in the spring? Absolutely. I try to get my kids to touch and feel, get them in the kitchen, let them pick what their favorites are, and then they're more likely to eat healthier. So right now, put this all out in the kitchen instead of putting other unhealthy things. And these are easy tips that you can use for the entire family. Love it. Thank you so much, Karina Heiderich. We appreciate it.